There it is. I did not expect such a big box, but uh, I guess uh, it's a heater core, so it would be a fair size. And my little helper, yeah, she wants to get going. Okay. So we're here at the Nissan dealer. The only the only heater core in Canada. Lucky we got it. We'll be right, we'll be right back. Hello, hello. <clears throat> well, we're going to start on replacing the heater core on this Nissan X-Trail. So, we got the part. Let's open it up. See if we got the right part. For what this thing costed, it better be right. These things are not cheap. And, um, oh yeah, no, that looks like her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at the groovy. Look at the groovy curves and everything on that puppy. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I can tell right away. All right. Well, there she is, and um, well, let's start taking this uh, dashboard apart. Okay, see this hose and this hose. This has to be the feed line because this one was hot, this one was cold in the winter time. Um, so we gotta <laughs> get all the stuff off on the other side of this firewall just to show you where the connections are all right well the first thing what we're going to do is take this fascia off around here and then uh, go on to the top of the dashboard and the uh, where the speakers are so let's do this step by step. Okay, we had to find a very thin screwdriver, but this just comes off like that. And I'll have to take apart those electrical connections, take those off, and that's step one. All right, so that was easy. Um, just to uh, pull the fascia out, undo these connections, then we're gonna do uh, the radio and then this the heat control unit. So I gotta go get some uh, Torx screwdrivers. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the Torx. I do believe it's a T20. So we'll just, uh, they're not even in there very tight. Okay. One, one, one wasn't, one is. Okay, I'll get these two over here. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll show you when the radio is coming out. Okay, I got the screws out. Now, this thing should, oh, that's good. Oh, wow, just slide right out. And I've got some more connections. 
to uh, unconnect. Okay, so I gotta do this with two hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, radio's out, unconnected. Just throw that stuff back in there. Now it's gonna be this little storage compartment one. I'm gonna put the screws back in where the screws came out so I don't lose any. Well, hopefully I won't lose any. But that's uh, usually how I do my work. Okay, so I'll just loosen these guys up now. And take this piece out. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, took the screws out, and this just slides on out. And I'll put the screws back in for the time being, because I won't be able to take th this plastic stuff off, but I will have to take, you can see that the plastic will have to move away from the, the brackets. These speaker covers are easy. You just, they just snap in and you just pull them out like that. There. Right there and then right there. And I got screws here to take apart. To take off, yes. The right side speaker is just the same. Easy. We're going to take these speakers out and disconnect it. Okay, this, this center part here, you just get a good grip and you just pull it out straight back towards you. And then there's a lot of screws. Lots of screws to undo. Well, I loosened these, where are they? That one, and then that screw. So this just slides completely out. So, kinda, there we go. Put that back there. Now we'll, well, we'll take this off, but I've got uh, all these screws and uh, we'll see, there's got to be some more. But, uh, keep all your screws and don't lose them. <laughs> okay, so we'll take these screws out now. And, boy, something nasty spilt in this truck on both sides, not just one. Okay, see those little hinges right here? We pop these out on both sides. And then it comes out of the groove. Right there. So I got the uh, a couple more screws to undo. All right, this piece should just slide out. All right, it wasn't so much sticky stuff holding it in. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, eh? 
Okay, so my hands have been dirtier and other stuff, but I think that's a lot of chocolate milkshakes that got spilt on the dashboard. This will definitely need a good cleaning. Very good cleaning. So don't go over bumps when you got a chocolate milkshake. That's all I can say. Right now I'm taking off the bottom screws to the steering column. There's three of them. And so I'm going to start to take those little nuts off. I'll zoom in. And there, that's a that's a ten millimeter. I'll uh, take as many off as I find. Okay, let's get this dash or speedometer out. Okay, I gotta turn this around. Just one second. Okay, so that's where the speedometer sits. So I'll take that screw out, that nut, and what else do I see? Well, we'll find out what else there is in just a second. We'll take that side screw out, and take the panel this panel off. There we go. And this top part, I just kind of got underneath there the flat screwdriver. And I just have to take the cigarette lighter out. Just one minute. Oh, that's pretty. It's, huh? It's getting there. It's getting pretty dismantled. <laughs> So I get a small screwdriver and just pop this up and oh god look at that mess. Uh, I'll take those screws out, one on each side, and then uh, we'll go from there. So there's a screw underneath here, among and many other things. So there's a screw right there that we'll have to take out. Oh, look at that. I'm getting paid for my work. See those quarters down there? I'll zoom in. Yep. There and there is my paycheck. <laughs> and to get that center console out, there's a couple screws. You have to get from behind. There's one and uh, probably one on the other side. So I'll get that out right now. Okay, so the console should just come up. Oh, I have to disconnect those for the heated seats. So I'll be right back. Okay. I've got the heated seats unplugged, so this should just come out unless there's something sticking. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, looks like I'm getting paid today. Oh my goodness. That doesn't come off. This, oh uh, god, that's a, 
That's a dirty nickel. Don't know where that's been. Looks like most of this crap has been down here for a long time. Oh, another nickel. I, I should be using latex gloves myself. Oh, dime. Oh, okay. Another dime. Oh, quarter. Uh, I could play some pinball with that one, I guess. Oh, 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 looks like I'm getting a bonus here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Somebody, somebody had a sucker. Yeah. Hope it was a good sucker. Oh, am I a sucker? Okay, look at this. I got, I gotta dig these ones out because they're crusty. Look at that. And a toonie. Can't even buy a coffee with one toonie. Okay, what's this? God, lots of nickels. Well, I think I got one more. Yeah, good. Oh, that's a dime. Diamond, looks like I got some cookies. Oh, what's this? Potato chips? Oh, look at that, another toonie. Come on, get in there. Oh, this is gonna be... Gonna have to work for this one. Look at that. Oh, oh, those are french fries. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. I can't even buy a small fries for what I've got. Oh, a key. Hmm. Wow. Oh, this is. Oh, come on. Oh, I need my screwdriver again to pry it out. Oh, boy. Another quarter. And another dime. Oh, I got even. Five cents. Canadian tire money. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know what kind of. Well, it looks like chocolate shake. Yeah, God, they sure like their chocolate shakes in here. Uh, what else we got here? Well, you know what? I'm going to... I don't see no more money, so I guess my payday is over. Uh, uh, looks like my cleaning day has just begun. Oh, what's this? Oh, it looks like cinnamon uh, sugar, icing sugar, might, might have been a donut. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, back to work. So my bonus pay is $5.10. So, I guess I can buy myself a coffee. Ain't no chocolate milkshake, that's for sure. Okay, so with the center console out, that just lets this thing slide out of the way. And let's see. Let's see how this still stays on. So I was looking in here. And I found her. So, I'm wondering. She's got a drink. Uh, she must be at the beach. And she, uh... It's nice outside. So I'm gonna let her dance. While I work. Okay. So underneath the dashboard, we gotta take that screw out and then that screw out and then this this part comes out nice and easy. <laughs> and right underneath here There's the two nuts 
that uh, hold the airbag in place. So we're going to take those out and the airbag should just pop up. <laughs> in one more ways than one. Okay. Yeah. It's raining cats and dogs right now here. <clears throat> but that's where the airbag is. And those, see what happened? Those, those are size 12. Screw that uh, holds in uh, the airbag. All right, well, I've got, I've got it off the, the metal beam, so, I think the next thing I'm going to do is lower this um, steering column so it goes down and then I can just bring this up over it. So we'll get on to that next. Okay, so looks like two bolts, two nuts there. And then those two right there. So I'll just take those out. And then the uh, steering column should just lower. Yeah, and those, those nuts are a size 12 also. Okay, I'm taking these nuts off that hold the steering column up. So I've got a couple more to do. Oops, got a couple more to do there and then there. And steering column should come down. Okay. So I was able to lower the steering column the rest it on the seat and I started pulling the dashboard up so it has to go up on the front and then over the steering wheel and it should come out and I had to take the wiring well, I'll show you uh, uh, off the airbag I'll be right back this yellow wire connected to that connection that was zip tied up here so that's just to the airbag and now this is what it looks like underneath and the uh, dashboard should come off right now so I'll be right back I need two hands all right well the dashboard is out now <laughs> it's still behind there <laughs> way behind there the heater core so this job is probably only half done. Uh, but it is kind of interesting to see, you know, what, what's behind this stuff. It's amazing. All right, let's get back at her. And they're always good at hiding screws. So this should take this front part off so just remember where they all come from there we go good all right I need two hands again okay well I'm gonna take this metal bracket off those bolts so I can get behind here and hopefully that will be my next step there's another one there I'm not sure about this guy here. 
I might as well take them off anyways too. Another one there. And I might have to take well that should just come off. It should, but I'll let you know where, where I find my next bolt. I'm going to take these guys off. And then those two up there. What I'll do next is remove this bolt, that bolt, and then that bolt there. And take this uh, tubing vent off. And uh, that should be another step in the right direction. So this part right here is attached to a metal clip where that has to go another bolt goes through there and that has to be aligned up. So another thing to remember. Well the next thing that I'm gonna have to do is take this cross bar off. So I'm going to have to disconnect all, everything that's attached to this has to come off. So I can get this bar out and then be able to get the heater, to get at the heater core. I don't uh, see any other way to do this. So, um... This would be a very expensive job in a shop to do. Very expensive. So, one wise thing to do is to take pictures of where the parts have come off. And then there's one. That is just zip tied on. And then there's that wiring ground there and right there. So once I get the, all that stuff off, it, that bar should come off. And there's a ground screwed to that bar that I'll have to remember also. I'll have to take that bolt out and disconnect all the wiring harnesses and so on and so on okay i loosened these i think i'm gonna take this part out it might make it easier and uh we'll see how that goes So we took that, must be the brains of the, the car out. So we're going to start taking this off. Alright. That is another bolt I gotta get out that was hiding underneath the air vent well guess what I found a fortune cookie um, saying and it says others appreciate your good sense of humor today yeah I don't know how true that is Okay, I'll just carry on looking for other goodies. Okay, folks, we now have this loose. Oh, we have this very loose now. So I'm going to take this, uh, I guess this is a support 
beam and I'll need two hands so I will take this part out and then we will be able to get at that heater core much easily easier that's what I'm trying to say okay I'll be right back okay so here is what it looks like with the bar out Let's, I see the hose or the pipes going into here where the heater core is okay here's the hoses these clamps that go to the heater core feeding and return and um, well, they're, these aren't too bad to get at, but uh, we're going to take both of these off. We're going to drain the engine now, and hopefully, um, once these are loose, the heater core on the inside uh, will be easier to take out. So, let me get my drain pan, and I'll get these two... Well, that one completely off and then take the hose off and get it drained okay now I got the hoses off you've seen that already but now I have to drain the rad engine block and all that so where did I see that drain plug um uh, my eyes oh there it is can you see that right right there here let me get a flashlight there I hope you can see it. That's right. Right there. In the way. So we can open that up and drain it. Awkward little place to get at. Okay. So I've taken the hoses off. And just put them down there. And uh, I've drained it, and um, that's all I have to do on the engine compartment. Um, I have to get it from inside now. So here it is, uh, right there. And uh, I had to take a couple screws out, right there. And where else? Oh, that one down there. And then <clears throat> there was um, this stuff on the side here that I had to take off. And um, well, now that that's all the way off, see, this is nice and loose. So I'm thinking if I could just open this up. And then kind of like, see, slide this out a bit. I think I might have to take this off so that it slides completely out of the way. Okay, so this part right there just slides into a groove over there holding it the two together so I just took it out and uh, unzipped some wires that were holding it together so now what I want to do is just slide this try to angle it and then and try to pull that out but I need both hands so let me try that okay this part with a screw in it 
who is back here holding the pipes in. So now the uh, uh, heater core should should come out quite easily. At least I'm hoping so. As there, I didn't find any more screws. And right here, that's the heater core. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to test it, see if it is plugged and stuff. But we're going to put the new one in. Uh, just so I don't forget where all these parts came from. <laughs> okay, be right back. So there's the old one. Right there. And here's the new one that I haven't unwrapped yet. But I will get that done right now. Okay, so here's the new heater core and we're just going to slide it in and then uh, start the process of putting it all back together doesn't this look like fun yeah okay <laughs> I need two hands Well, that slid in very good. Now, I am just going to put that plastic pipe holder on and then put the pipes through the firewall. So I'll be right back. Well, here we are putting this back together. I put the hoses back on and uh, Put the clamps on, and I did fill it with coolant, and there's no leaks, so that's good. Now we got the fun part of putting the interior back together, so I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, here we are. Got the... the the, well, the fan, and then the box that holds the heater core in there, mounted back on the firewall. Got the, this cross member mounted. So now, the tough part of putting all the wiring where it was, and um, the pieces back together. So step by step, and we'll go from there. I'll be right back. Well, folks, we're slowly putting this back together. We're cleaning it as we do it. And doesn't that look a lot better? And guess what? I got... I found another, another loony and a dime there for my paycheck. But I am so happy that this, well, that too, definitely underneath here. No, no more french fries. And uh, yeah, it's nice and clean. So we're going to put the console back and get this. There's that crusty piece of... I don't know, some type of bread with cinnamon on it. <laughs> Yummy. Just in case. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's how things are going. And we'll be back in a little bit. And if you don't get paid for this job, don't do this job. <laughs> okay. All the wiring... I hope is in the right place so it's easy access so once I put the dashboard on 
it will just come through the holes in the dashboard. Everything has been tightened up. So the next thing to do is to put the dashboard in. So I need two sets of hands, two sets of arms. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got the dashboard in, lined up pretty good. Now, we're gonna put all the screws in, and piece by piece. And, uh, yeah. I should be on the home stretch. Okay. Okay, well, we got the speedometer package all wired up, <clears throat> and the um, speakers are wired, so we're slowly getting this dashboard put back together, and doesn't look too bad. Okay, we'll be right back. So here's, um, well, you gotta make sure that you remember all, where all the wiring and the connections go and uh, so far so good. So let's just keep going. All right, so the top of the dashboard is on, speedometer, radio. Next part is this front part which is right here and slowly coming together okay <clears throat> well got the, this fascia on and glove box and, well one of many glove boxes so we're gonna put the bottom ones on and then Work on this side, finish it off on this side. So, it's looking pretty good. And uh, we'll uh, show you a little bit more uh, completed in just a bit. Okay, all the pieces are back and looking pretty good I think and uh, yeah all my tools and stuff I'll show you the other side in just one second There's that. so it's we're gonna vacuum this out and get it nice and clean anybody hungry there's that piece of uh, cinnamon bread or whatever that is. And you know what? There's a sucker stick still. And here's that little Chinese fortune cookie. Others appreciate your good sense of humor today. Okay, well, we're gonna start it. And we're gonna... Uh, Make sure everything's working and then we're gonna top up coolant and uh, see if the heater core is working good okay be right back very nice very nice oh yeah what a nice change Yep, even the back is nice and clean. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, I went to uh, put them clean I cleaned the terminals and stuff the post battery and put the connection back on didn't even have enough juice to honk the horn so it's getting charged now 
Okay, we're taking the X Trail for a, a test drive, and we're gonna see what the heat gauge turns out up to, and uh, we'll top it up and go from there. We'll be back uh, once it starts heat warming up. So we've been uh, driving for a little while. Temperature gauge is where it usually was. So I'm happy with that. Well, the temperature is not bad coming out of here. But then, you know what? It's not minus 30. We're going to have to see what it's like in the winter time. But for the most part, this job is done. Right? Right. My uh, co-pilot is riding a uh, shotgun and she is assessing the situation and it is BIX approved.